Hello fellow Squishmallow lovers! In this video, I'm going to show you footage from so many different stores. I went Squishmallow hunting and I got so lucky. I found a lot of things that I have been hoping to find. All the things I was searching for, I found on this day. I did finally see the actual Beetlejuice display at Walmart. I had only seen that one lonely sandworm before and something I was super excited about in this Walmart when I first walked in they had a whole bin of the Nightmare Before Christmas Squishmallows including the Vampire Teddy which I have been trying to find. I have gone to so many different Walgreens looking for it so I'm so excited that they did end up sending them to Walmart as well so now people have a much better chance of finding the Vampire Teddy in the Dr. Finkelstein. I also stumbled across a display that had the new tiny Squishmallow Hug Me's. They have Bluey, Bingo, and Muffin in the mini version. They only had Bluey before, so the Bingo and the Muffin are new, so I was really happy to finally find those. And then I did dig through the large bins to see if there was anything I haven't seen, and there was nothing new in there, but... You always have to check just in case. This footage is from Kohl's. I went in the store. I went over in the bedding area where they sometimes have Squishmallows. Then I went to the toy area to look for the Squishmallows. And then finally I gave up. And that's when I found them over in the kids clothing section. They had this super large cardboard display. This was the display I was looking for. They're supposed to get this at all Kohl's stores and they have the winking Benny. And of course, you already know that's the thing I was really hoping to find. And they did have several other things on this display that I wanted, but Kohl's prices are a little high sometimes. So I did end up buying a couple things here. But I'm going to wait and put the haul from this shopping spree in a different video because I ended up finding so many different things in this Squishmallow hunt that I didn't want this video to be super long. Lots of people don't have time for a super long video. So I'm going to do this hunt as part one and then show my haul of over 15 Squishmallows that I bought in a different video. Also, I will say that during this Squishmallow hunt, I did find my first ever defect Squishmallow. I was so excited. I've never found a Squishmallow with a defect before, but I did find one in the wild and I didn't even grab it on purpose. I just wanted this particular Squishmallow and then noticed as I was waiting in line at the register that it had a defect. This footage is from Books A Million. They had a lot of Squishmallows in there and a lot of different Squishmallow merchandise that I've never seen in person. I've never seen the magnetic fidget sliders or the Squishmallow poppets in person before. So this was the first time I've seen them. And then they had a ton of mystery capsules and mystery scooshums in this books a million. I did find some that were older. They had the squad with the vulture. They had the first crossover squad. They had a whole lot of stuff in this store. They also had some of the crafting and stationery sets like I've seen at Hobby Lobby. I found this game that I've never seen. I didn't know that they had a Spot It game in Squishmallow version. I know they make that in just about every character, but I hadn't seen it in Squishmallow version, so I thought that was pretty cool. And they had a lot of 5-inch Squish, including Ronalda the Pink Yeti. I did pick her up already at Macy's when I went to the mall, but I was still pretty surprised that they had her at Books A Million. And they had some Squishville sets that I've never seen before. This was super cute. It had a bunch of different little fruits in it, but I think it was like $35, which 
is quite a bit to pay for a Squishville set. This footage is from Ross. They finally got in a few things that I haven't seen a million times, but I don't think there was anything super exciting. They still had some Dannys. I love that they've got Danny the Bigfoot there. Every time I see it, I'm tempted to buy another one. This black gray, charcoal gray kind of dinosaur Squishmallow was super cute. I don't think I've really seen him before. He had a fuzzy belly. They had this sea slug, which had a shiny tag to it. It was a special edition. I don't really remember what special edition tags were supposed to represent. They've changed the Squishmallow tags so many times at this point. Used to, they would say, only available at this store. Now they say first to market, then they made special edition tags, then they started doing the rare and ultra rares. I don't know, they keep changing the rarity scale of Squishmallows. It's kind of odd and random. All I care about is finding things I want and getting them. This was an end cap at Target. I just had to show that they had a ton of Squishmallow hug me's, including Chili and Bandit and Bingo and Bluey. And then I went to Five Below and I was actually able to find most of the newer Halloween Squishmallows that they've put out. They had the new Sanrio Squad and the Halloween Squad that has the potion bottle and the cauldron in it. I really love the holiday Squishmallows. It's so hard not to want to buy every single one that I find. But I was really surprised they also had the Sanrio squad from months ago in this Five Below. That was the Tuxedo Sam from, I believe, August that was released. And this is the first time I've seen it in person. That was really random to find. And then, of course, I was really excited that I did find Jane, the girly Grim Reaper. I was really hoping to find that, and I think it was the only one left in the store, so I got super lucky with that find. I found almost everyone from this Halloween squad. There's Margie the Pumpkin. They also have her at Walgreens. And then this Five Below just now put out displays from the drop weeks ago. And I love how there was like one Valentine's and one Christmas Squishmallow hiding with all the little Halloween guys. And then I ended up going shopping a couple days later. So I went ahead and added that footage to the footage from my super amazing Squishmallow hunt. This is from TJ Maxx. They had a lot of Squishmallow buckets that I've actually never seen before. The trick-or-treat pails. Uh, maybe I was just out of the loop on the trick or treat pails, but this half windy, half spider bucket, I've never seen that. I thought that was really interesting and kind of super weird, but you know, I love seeing things I haven't seen before, so I had to get that footage and put that in the video so you could see it too. Next, I went to a different Ross store and I found so many of this Conway, the large purple Texas Longhorn Squishmallow. They had so many of him. They still had one last Easter Squishmallow. Still not marked down super cheap. You really think they would mark it to the point to get rid of it. I was tempted to get this little stackable Longhorn Squishmallow. I thought he was really cute. And then they had one of the Adopt Me Queen Bees at Ross. I guess Walmart got so many in that they had to send some somewhere different. And then, of course, I found one little Hey Hey hidden over in the baby toys. If you're looking for Squishmallows in Ross or TJ Maxx, make sure you walk over to the baby toys because sometimes the Squishmallows get misplaced and they end up over there. That's a great tip for finding more Squishmallows when you're out hunting. And I did end up going to a different Five Below. I ended up being in a town that I didn't even know had a Five Below. So I found the rest of the Halloween squad that I was looking for. The Waukesha, the Axolotl, stuff that I didn't find in the first Five Below. So that was exciting. Let me know in the comments, guys. What was your favorite part of this Squishmallow hunt? What Squishmallows do you think I picked up? 
I'll show them in a haul video, a part two coming out very soon. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and until next time, bye!